Today we are filming the third part of the eBay mystery bundles. In case you don't know, purchasing mystery bundles on eBay is probably the absolute stupidest thing you could ever do if you are going to try to get into Pokemon cards. Everyone that does this will tell you, don't fucking do it. It's a big waste of money, but that's part of why I'm doing what I'm doing. I like to save you guys money by spending my own, or your Patreon money, thanks again by the way, on some shit that you should never buy. And before we go on, Disabled Charizard would like to tell you guys something real quick. Yeah. <laughs> disabled Charizard, that's disgusting. Uh, I'll translate into English for you. Basically, he just told me to tell you guys to like the video. Uh, it, you know, I'm a little channel, and I gotta fight for those likes. So I appreciate them when I get them, and if you guys leave a comment, I will respond to everyone. Enough bullshit, let's open them up. M -m -m money shot. So we got this is for a hundred bucks, by the way, guys. Keep in mind, a hundred bucks you would pay for this. Same thing. Use that information to judge accordingly as we move on. We got a bag of shit. We'll check that out in a minute. We got a little squirtly boy. He looks kind of disabled. We may have a contender for second place mascot. We have a DVD and then a bunch of fucking cards. This is what we want, but we're gonna clickbait you a little bit and just quickly go through the items. First up is a kind of scuffed looking ass uh, diglet you may see in a garage sale for a penny. I don't know exactly what this is. Is it a Beyblade? Push his nose, and then we got a few little toys. It looks like a dugong, and then something else. I don't really know what a lot of the newer Pokemon are, and by new, I mean anything that wasn't on the Game Boy. And then we got this thing. I can't remember what it's called either, but it, it's it got a scary looking mouth. Um, I guess when he moves, when you roll him around, his mouth bites. Sick. And then we got a DVD copy of the Pokemon for the first movie with Mew and Mewtwo on the cover. That's pretty sick. The disc actually looks really nice. And then we got Disabled <laughs> Squirtle. <laughs> Why is his tail so long? Are they supposed to have long tails like that? Why is his head so big? Jeez, he is a bit disabled. And now let's rip this up and see what this is all about. All right, starting with the least interesting item in the box. We have a nice little thank you note for buying this guy and he's plugging his channel. However, he forgot to include a link to the channel. So who the fuck knows what this guy's trying to do? Pokemon's sticker, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Next up in that is the Caterpie 2 Metapod holographic card. These were pretty cool. I remember you could get a little uh, binder with custom slots for them. Kind of cool. Fun little nostalgia piece. Actually, the coin looks to be in pretty good shape, so that's pretty good. Next up is a what looks like a custom booster pack, and then get your apps ready, guys, because it looks like we're going to have some code cards for you. First code card is for Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon. Third code card, code card, Sun and Moon. I'm seeing a pattern here. And the fifth code card is a Sun and Moon. Enjoy, guys. If you got even one of those, give me a like. <laughs> I'm hard up for likes these days. We got a single still card from the movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back. On the back, there's a pretty obvious hidden camera trying to get an upskirt of this chick. You should be a little more discreet when you're trying to do that. We have a Pokeball. We have an Alolan Vulpix. We have a creepy Volcarona moth with that juicy looking abdomen that's disgusting. We have a spirit bomb, Goku's spirit bomb. Pokemon catcher, Ekans, it's snake backwards, you guys. I, I think that it's an unknown fact, but if you actually reverse the name, it spells snake. 
He's also a snake, he has snake aids, and he has snades. Next up is a little fluffy baby Swablu, a hyper potion modeled for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. We have an R box, same thing, Cobra backwards, snake with snake aids, he has snades. We have an Incineroar, looking like he's throwing a big fireball out of his dick hole. Kakuna, stuck in a tree. We have a Nidoran, just chillin'. Uh, Ponita, Drowsy, Absol, it's the monkey goat bat, everyone's favorite combination of animals. Oops, we skipped a Turto Nator, it is a rare non foil, non holographic. We then have a reverse common Starly, it's just a little bird. I don't know what he thinks he can do when he has to fight Charizard. Uh, we have a promo Sun and Moon number 89 Zoro arc. It is a furry, but you know what? That's fine. It's 2021. We can, we can agree to disagree and live together. And then what looks to be, uh oh, <laughs> Nihi Lego GX. It's number 49 of 111. That's pretty sick. We also got a Mimikyu. Holographic rare? I actually like Mimikyu, he's kind of cute. So that's cool, that's pretty good. And then on the very end, a Galissapod GX. And then for some odd reason, we have a single card in a top loader, which is Erica's Bellsprout. First edition, baby. We should definitely go get this one PSA graded. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five Rebel Clash dollar store packs. And then behind those was a General Mills three card pack. Maybe we'll get that Bulbasaur I keep talking about. And then of course, the Pièce de Résistance, the coveted Joker card packs. These can have anything in them, so this will be exciting to go through, and holy shit, this is gonna be a long one. All right. Let's get into these dollar store booster packs. One thing to keep in mind about these is they only have three cards, you can randomly get any card in the set, including energies, which is kind of a fuck you. But if you get a rare, it just means even more. Or better, of course. We got Clefairy, Shining Fingers. What has Clefairy been sticking them fingers in? We got a Voltorb and a tough Turf Field Stadium. I don't know why I always fuck that one up. We got a Binacle. A Scyther? I do like Scyther. I think Scyther is a cool design. I would be terrified of that thing if it could run around in my backyard. And then a Palos Hand. Starting it out with a Voltorb. Then we did get a rare. It is Galarian Darmanitan. However, it's not foil or anything. And then a full heal. We're starting it out with a creepy little furry Toxel boy, a Galarian Mr. Mime, and then on the very end, a Capture Energy. So far, no foils at all. We got a Vullaby, a Galarian Runaragus, and then a fucking Energy. Look at that, a third of the entire pack was an Energy. <laughs> Thanks for that, lads. And now we're gonna check out the General Mills Cereal promo cards. Doesn't really smell like cereal, just in case anyone was wondering. What is this? Just some spam, I guess. Uh, okay, we started off very strong with a reverse Cubone gazing into the starry sky with a beautiful reverse holofoil background. We got a Ghastly, and then we got a Kangaskhan. Everything was common, but that Cubone is a nice get. All right, and now we're gonna get into the Mystery Joker packs. We got a Crimson Invasion and a Guardians Rising. I say we open all three and just then rip them up in one, one go. We got a regular Sun and Moon, and then a regular Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon, and Sun and Moon. Pretty disappointing. <laughs> 100 bucks well spent. And we're gonna rip through these pretty quickly. I'm going to try at least. Ooh, that opened up real easy. 
We got a code card for the yeah boy, for the boys. We love the boys. Are, is there a rare or is there an energy? It is a water droplet moon energy. We are going to start it out with the Toro cat. Toro cat, I guess it's lit. Wix evolved form. We have a potion, we have a trum beak, we have a pear ass. Young Goose, that's what that fucking thing was called. Young Goose. We got a Shelder. We got a Zubat. We got a Poplio, he's a little clown boy. And we get a Reverse Sand Dial, and on the very end... Ooh, Espeon GX, holy shit! Wow! That's a good pull. Hey, that's pretty good! Espeon GX. Beautiful card, number 140 of 149. Boy, I did not think we'd start it out with a full art ultra rare. That's fucking crazy. Next up, regular ass, sun and moon. I'm either getting better at this or these are open up real easy. There's your code card for ya boy. One, two, three to the front. I'm gonna risk it. Yep. Uh some kind of shield crest energy. So sorry about that, disabled Charizard. How you doing back there, buddy? <laughs> Classic disabled Charizard, every time. Okay, what in the fuck on earth is this thing? It's a Pyuk Yu Muku. I innards out. That's disgusting. What is that? Ew. We have a Rotom Dex. It is a Creepy little robot boy. We have a Passimian. We have a Alolan Rattata. We have a Chin Chow. We have a Pear Ass. <gasps> it's a... He's a little gross, crusty cum sock. And even the clouds are made out of cum socks. It's beautiful. I love these. I really hope that they donated them. Or at least sold them to charity. Next up is a dupe hider with a giant glob of cum on his head. Hopefully he can breathe. We have a reverse energy retrieval. I always like getting reverse items and trainers. I don't know why. They're just cool. And then on the very end, a literal nothing corbominable. Next up, Pokemon Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Code card for ya boy. For the boys. One, two, three to the front. Getting rid of that fisting your mom energy. My favorite. Let's put it over here. Did we do one, two, three to the front? Starting out with a beware doing a shore you can to a tree stump or something. A low mo mola. <laughs> Look at that thick ass. Did they actually give this thing an ass? Jesus Christ. We get a choice band, okay. I don't think I did three to the front. I did. Unless that's a reverse. Christ, they're hard to tell. Anyway, it's an artsy fartsy Murkrow. Murkrow. He's very hipstery looking. I don't, don't like that. So landed, playing in some lava, probably not safe. Nose pass. He's just a nose on a rock. We have a Tailo, it's a little bird, he's gonna go fight Charizard and without a doubt die. We got this one again, I'm not saying its name so you guys can't soundbite the clip. Oh, we got a reverse Gumi. I have not seen this card before. Oh! But it is made out of a crusty old cum sock. How cool. I love that they even go into the detail in the backgrounds and make them out of felt. This is just such a cool little thing they do, and I don't think it gets enough attention. And then, on the very end, we got just a regular ass Rayquaza with, with nothing special or foil or anything. It's just a it's just a Rayquaza. Up next is a regular ass Sun and Moon with uh, some kind of bat or something, a Dracula perhaps, oh. on the cover. There's a code card we're gonna take. One, two, three, to the front. Don't forget to give that code card to ya boys. Energy, fucking it straight off. We're gonna start it out with an energy switch. 
into a Trumbeak, a Corsola. That's kind of a weird little creepy Kirby looking ass. We got an Alolan Grimer. Just gonna zoom in slightly. We have a Fomantis. I would not want to step on that thing in nature. We have a Cosmog. Now there's a useful Pokemon, Dust Gathering. I guess you could have a few of those around your house and they could just float around and collect dust for you. That's pretty good. We get a Roggen Rolla. I definitely want to stick my finger in that hole and wiggle it around. Do you guys think there'd be guts inside or is that like its butthole? We have a Sandy Gasm with the cursed shovel stuck in his forehead. That thing is definitely cursed. I would not go near it. We have a reverse Torah Cat. He is playing in the water as all cats with fire element do. That's definitely um, something he would probably do. And then, on the very end, we got just literal nothing, a lantern. It's just a rare. Moving along swiftly with a sun and moon with an owl on the cover. There's a code card for the boys. You're welcome, lots of code cards in this episode. One, two, three to the front. We will fuck off the Fisting your mom energy. <laughs> Aw, it's a puppy. Aww. We started out with a puppy. It's a herdier. He looks like uh, just a little dog. It's pretty good. We got a Charger Bug. Charger Bug is an electric school bus type Pokemans. We got a Poison Barb. We be killing Pokemans out in here, up in here. We get a Sandile, we got an Alolan Rattata, we got a Snubble. It's got some rickets or something, you should definitely have that looked at by a doctor. Your feet should not be that twisted inward. We got a Makuhita, he is a just nothing. I think that means something to do with sumo wrestling, but it's been a long time. We have a cutie fly, I'll admit it's pretty cute for a fly. Pretty fly for a fly guy. We got a reverse. Holographic Bruxish. That is a flamboyant fish. He probably goes out to sailors and swims right up and lets them have their way with him. And on the very end, an Incineroar GX, another good get. Burning Slam. 200 damage. That's probably a lot. So far we're getting pretty decent pulls. What do you guys think so far? Would you pay a hundred bucks for all this? Well, thanks to Patreon, you kind of did. So joke's on you, idiots. Last up is a Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. Mm. Shit, we fucked it up. God damn it, I was doing so good. There's a code card for the boys. One, two, three to the front. Will we fuck it up? No, it's an eyeball energy. We're going to, maybe we'll get a really, really good reverse. Devour Fields, Wireless, Miltank, look at those big fat titties. We got a Skiddo, a Pikachu, Oh, <laughs> Look at him, he's so disabled. He, his eyes are so far apart from each other and boy is he thick. We'll put him in the disabled Pikachu pile over here. Next up is an Alolan Geodude, he got some thick ass eyebrows. We got a Miss Drevis, it's just a glob of squid cum. We have a Mink Chino, pretty happy looking little furry running around in the meadow. Reverse Mankey, so pretty much garbage. And then the absolutely most disappointing card ever made is an Octillery, it's trash. So what did you guys think? We got some decent pulls, I guess. We got that and that. What are they, like 10 bucks each maybe, at best? I have to look them up later, obviously. Uh, but yeah, that's 100 bucks on a eBay mystery gamble. Hopefully you guys can learn something from this. Maybe I will save you a buck or two. If you were thinking of getting these, remember, packs can be weighed, booster boxes can be mapped. You can literally take out the good cards and leave in the bad ones. One way to tell at the very end of a video is to grab up all your code cards that you gave out to your boy in the comments, and you can see how many of them are trash. Too good for trash, which means the majority of them were trash. So again, that's kind of the end of the video, guys. This has been a long time running. These are 
pretty fun to make. I liked it. And uh, we'll just keep going with more bullshit as we go. So thanks again for hitting like, guys. Take care, and see you in the next one. Um, and then one thing I wanted to address before we move on is I get a, I get some comments about people not understanding why I try to hide the code card or not reveal the code card. So I picked up a random ass Steam Siege pack and I'm going to explain to you guys. So let's rip this thing open real quick and then we'll get on with the video. So normally I try to do this, however you can accidentally reveal a code card. Now why is this important? This code card determines whether or not this pack will have anything good in it. So as you can see, I just destroyed the pack. This was the rare. <laughs> so yeah, basically once you reveal that code card, you are telling everyone who knows what they're doing whether or not there's anything good in the pack, and it can potentially fuck up the entire opening process. So now that we've done that pointless display, we're going to jump into the $100 eBay Mystery Gamble Box and see what it is. Is it a Beyblade? So you can kind of move him. Sick. Is there a code card? Do you guys want a code card for this? Oh, there's not. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. And then we got this cool holographic little Metapod versus Metapod? Oh, it's up and down. I'm retarded. Wow. <laughs> and then after the dollar store, uh, oops, I fucking goddamn it. Oops, threw the pack across the room. Next up. <laughs> Charger Bug is an electric school bus type Pokemans. Uh, as I was saying in the beginning of the video, I guess it's a fitting end that we are going to get some bullshit because this is the bullshit back of the code card. What a shame. That's a damn shame one. So, uh... Man, fuck off, YouTube. <laughs> 